Pretty amazing that we're sitting here in Iceland only four months into having a Valorant team, four months into the true existence of version one as an org. These guys have worked so hard to get here and it's great to see the, the org and everybody rally around them. Can he get the ace last you know. towards Flower Pot is boy, and he gets the ace, baby. Let's go! Version 1 was technically formed in July of 2019. That's when the Wilfs and, and Gary V made the decision to join Call of Duty League, secured the franchise rights to Minnesota. But at that time, Version 1 wasn't the name of the organization, and even our Call of Duty team didn't have a name yet. My name is Brett Diamond, and I was the first employee. My name is Ashley Glassell, AKA Midnight, and I was the second employee here at Version 1. My name is Annie Scott Riley, and I was the third employee. I started in September of 2019, and we hosted the launch of the all-new Call of Duty League with all 12 teams and 10,000 people here in Minneapolis in January of 2020. Getting ready for the first Call of Duty League event was an amazing experience. Probably describe it as being organized chaos. You know, the number of moving pieces that we had to bring together with a small team in a short time span, really, and everything we were doing was really the first time for any of this. To be able to put our stamp on it as the first team to do it was just a huge honor. So we knew it was a really big task and it was just an awesome experience to be a part of. I love Minnesota Rocker. I love the branding. I think it's so sick. The players are incredible and the fans are amazing. What we've built here in such a short period of time is truly awesome. Our fans are amazing. <laughs> they follow us all over the place. They definitely keep us on our toes. They keep us excited. It, this is. This is why we enjoy doing this. We have so many fans that are fantastic graphic designers, videographers, and they started posting it in our Discord server. It's actually pretty cool. We've made a channel entirely for that fan art, and honestly, I've seen everything from, what, cars in Rocket League to Valorant reskins. Wallpapers, digital wallpapers. wallpapers. It's, it's truly amazing how talented some of our fans are. Being the CFO of an esports organization is complicated, but a ton of fun. We have great ownership support. We have a great team. We're rising to the top. We're just getting started, but there's so much more we can do. My name is Amy, and I'm a junior content specialist. I'm Shannon, and I'm a junior content specialist in Detroit. My name is Raul, and I started out at version one as a content intern, and then went on to be a content specialist, and later on got promoted to a graphic designer. How long have you been here? A little over a year. It's a lot. It's really intense, actually. Quite intense. A lot, a lot. <laughs> so, Iceland. Our Rocket League team was named version one, but when we were recruiting for Valorant, our org didn't have a name yet. Annie goes on vacation for a week, and while she's gone, we get a Rocket League team. Every week, something crazy happens. We really started talking to the players and, lo and looking seriously at it in a mid-June time frame. We all thought we were working towards a start in September. We find out that the season is actually starting in three weeks. We didn't have a team name. We didn't really have anything figured out. We decided we'd go with a temporary name that sounded temporary. So we were throwing around names like temporary name, cool esports name, TBD. And then I said version one. And he said version one and the room got really quiet. Version one. Version one. Version one. And as we were doing the planning for the announcement, the Valorant opportunity really started to heat up. We were interested in Valorant because we understood where the developer was coming from and the approach they were taking when building this game. I think when you're looking at a Riot product, you understand that they're looking for the longevity of competitive play, which is something that us as a you know an esports franchise is extremely interested and passionate about. We want a game that can be played for years to come. Uh, in the Vegemont Valorant team, we just don't take ourselves too seriously. We try to relax, enjoy scrims, enjoy matches, and don't make everything like an uh, army drill. I'm Vanity, and I play for the version one Valorant team. I was chatting with Jake around the release of Valorant or sometime like a few months into it and talking about how I was considering transitioning from Counter-Strike into Valorant and wondering if they were looking to get into it and he said they were. Coming to V1, uh, I wanted to play with Vanity, Anthony. I was trying to make a team in Valorant and people were just getting offers from orgs. So I think I just wanted to go with him to version one. From that moment, we all just started playing together and it's been like that ever since. We've been playing for about five to six months now. Progress has been pretty pretty good because we're top two in NA now. We got to number two in North America in just four months by scrimming a lot. 
a lot of it comes down to just us putting in more hours than a lot of these players. I think most of us play this game more than most of the pros in America. I think that's what's caused us to have the success we've had so far. Non-stop play the game, and that's the main way, way we got here. All six of them deserve massive props. What do you think of Coach Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Emmy is, uh, is a great part of the team. He's the heart of the team. He's got a hard job. He's got to balance how much fun we want to have with how good we want to be. I think he did make me a better player. And just overall, I think he's a great you know, coach for version one, so. This is a really big moment for us, and it's coming at a time when there's so much going on at our organization. We really want to grow esports in the Midwest and everywhere. Our company is about improvement, inclusion, and imagination. We just announced Autumn Rhodes as the first content creator for Virgil 1, and just recently we announced Blast as the first Warzone streamer for Rocker. Rocker Regiment is a new program that we are kicking off Memorial Day weekend 2021, where we celebrate those who have served in the military and the armed forces, as well as their family members. Visionaries is our brand new tournament series for female gamers, and we have an amazing Discord server with the community growing around it. The Minnesota Rocker Home Series for the Call of Duty League is coming up in July. We're going to host a huge watch party, and it's going to be actually the first event we've had in over a year. I'm a lifelong gamer. I'm a lifelong gamer. I started gaming when I was about 10. Gaming is everything. I am a gamer because I enjoy the camaraderie that comes with playing with friends. I remember every time going to grandma and grandpa's house, we were all super excited because there was an N64 there. I'm a gamer because it helps me relax. My dad introduced me to StarCraft uh, on PC at a very young age, and I've been addicted ever since. We always plan to expand after about a year. Obviously, you don't plan on doing those things in the middle of a global pandemic. We've added two teams, rebranded the org, brought on streamers. They're our family. I've only been here three and a half months, and I immediately just clicked with everyone from an interview process to the start. I immediately felt, A, at home, but there's so many talented people here. It's really amazing to watch how this team and everybody has come together to build this organization in the middle of an unprecedented global situation. What we're creating, what we can do, is just unprecedented from what I've worked with before. We're just getting started. We are never done. We are never done. We are never done. 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 We are never done.